wondered what it's like to live amidst a conflict that seems to have no end, where every day could be your last. This is the reality for many civilians caught in the crossfire of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, a conflict that has its roots as far back as the late 19th century, but whose modern manifestation began with the establishment of Israel in 1948 and the subsequent Arab-Israeli war. As we trace the trajectory of this conflict through the years, we see a recurring cycle of violence, wars, uprisings, and clashes from the Six-Day War in 1967 to the First Intifada in 1987, the Second Intifada in 2000, and multiple military operations and conflicts in Gaza. Each of these events ratcheting up the tension and each leaving in their wake a tragic trail of innocent lives lost. Men, women, children, their lives forever altered or prematurely ended by a conflict they did not create. Their homes destroyed, their families torn apart, their futures uncertain, and yet their stories often remain untold, their faces unseen. As we delve into this topic, let us remember that behind every statistic is a human face, a story cut short and a family torn apart. The history of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is not just about political disputes and territorial claims. It is a tale of human suffering and loss. The roots of this enduring conflict stretch back to the late 19th century, but the modern iteration we grapple with today began with the establishment of the State of Israel in 1948. This pivotal moment sparked the Arab-Israeli War, setting the stage for the decades of tension and turmoil that followed. Through the years, key events have punctuated this narrative of strife. The Six-Day War in 1967, the First Intifada in 1987, the Second Intifada in 2000, numerous military operations in Gaza. Each of these chapters has been marked by a tragic commonality, the loss of civilian lives. This tragedy is not a byproduct of random chance or incidental misfortune. It's a consequence of displacement of political decisions made without regard for the human cost. It's the result of peace initiatives that have repeatedly failed to deliver a lasting resolution, leaving civilians caught in the crossfire of a conflict they did not choose. The echoes of history reverberate in the present, reminding us of the complex and deeply rooted issues that fuel this conflict and result in tragic civilian losses. In a world where peace seems elusive, we must not lose hope. We must strive for a future where children can play without fear, where families can live without the threat of violence. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict, a complex tapestry of history, politics, and deep-seated emotion, has seen the failure of multiple peace initiatives and negotiations. Yet these setbacks should not deter us from our quest for a peaceful resolution. The path to peace is fraught with challenges. It demands a comprehensive, fair, and sustainable solution that addresses all aspects of the conflict. It calls for the cessation of violence, the recognition of rights, and the establishment of justice. It requires us to dismantle the walls of hatred and prejudice, to build bridges of understanding and empathy. Peace is not just the absence of conflict, but the presence of justice. It is about creating a world where every individual, regardless of their nationality or religion, can live in dignity and freedom. It is about acknowledging the pain and loss that both Israelis and Palestinians have endured, and ensuring that such tragedies are not repeated in the future. The road to peace is long and arduous, but it is a journey we must undertake. It is a testament to our shared humanity and our collective aspiration for a better world. It is up to us, as global citizens, to learn more about this conflict, to empathize with those who suffer, and to support initiatives that strive for peace. Let us not be bystanders in the face of injustice and human suffering. Let us stand together for peace.